Hey guys, we are the Geyser Guys and we would like to show you in this video how you can create your own geyser at home. So basically what we did was we took a conical flask made of glass and uh, a rubber plug and uh, through a pipe we connected the flask with the top of a water bottle uh, on which we had cut off the bottom part. And uh, after we have done that we uh, filled up the water bottle with water um, until uh, the conical flask was filled up through the pipe. Um, and once the conical flask and the pipe, they were both all filled up with water, we had to make sure that we had the surface of the water inside the bottle uh, to be approximately one centimeter above the top of the pipe. Then we cranked the heat up, uh, turned it to maximum heat, and we waited to, uh, to see the water boil. And after approximately 10, 10 minutes, we uh, started to see small bubbles being created in the bottom of the conical flask. Um, and after another 15 minutes or so, we now started to have larger bubbles uh, ascending from the bottom of the conical flask. At this point, uh, the boiling point uh, of the water in the conical flask is higher than 100 degrees due to the pressure that is created from the water in the uh, pipe and flask above. So once the water inside the conical flask starts to boil, um, the pressure is equalized due to the air bubbles that are rising up through the pipe um, and released into the air. This makes the boiling point inside the conical flask go back to 100 degrees Celsius, but the water inside the conical flask now has a higher temperature than the 100 degrees Celsius. Therefore, all the water starts to boil all at once, and this makes our geyser erupt. We waited approximately seven minutes for the entire process to repeat itself and actually we managed to create a pretty consistent geyser that erupted every seventh minute or so after this point. Thank you so much for watching our awesome geyser video. Remember to like our video and subscribe our channel. Until the next time, peace out, geyser guys.